Hey, how's everybody doing? My name is Daniel. In today's video, I just have to give you guys a quick guide on how exactly a radiator should work. By the end of this video, it should give you a much better perspective at looking how water cooling systems work for your gaming rig. So if you're thinking of building one and you have no idea whatsoever of how to build one, and when you look up guides, it's just people building their own water cooling systems, this video should be able to help you out. Now, the radiator system is technically, radiators are all the same. Uh, even in cars, radiators work exactly the same. In fact, if you had enough room in your case, you could actually buy yourself a water cooling system car radiator, a really big one, which would help with uh, the whole overall efficiency on cooling your entire PC or, you know, you guys get the point. So basically how a radiator works is, here's your CPU, here's the radiator, and here are the pipes. The black is also the pipe. The cold represents cold water, the, br the red represents hot water. So basically what's happening is, as the cold water travels towards your CPU, the heat is transferred towards the water from the CPU, if the water becomes hot, and then the hot water travels into the radiator. As it's going through these pipes in the radiator, the fan is pushing the heat out of the radiator, cooling the water, making it cold again, and traveling right through the blue and hitting the CPU with cold water over again. So it's like a whole cycle. The CPU is constantly being hit with cold water, and then the heat water is constantly being, you know, cooled and becomes cold. Well, you guys already get the system. I already explained it to you guys. So yeah, that's technically how a radiator works. All radiators are the same. There's really no difference in them. I mean, sure, the size matters. So the bigger the radiator, the better uh, cooling it's going to produce and the more fans it has it's also better also the more powerful fan you have because you want to push as much heat as possible there are aluminum radiators and copper radiators but copper radiators are really expensive you'd rather go with an aluminum one because it's a lot cheaper so if you're on a budget say you build yourself a 300 hundred dollar gaming pc and you only have like 50 bucks to spend you should be able to build yourself a really efficient water cooling system uh, on your own you know using an aluminum radiator it's not going to be that much of a big difference sure the copper is going to transfer a lot more heat out of the radiator out of the water cooling it a lot more but it's not really that big of a deal maybe by 10 5 5 or 10 you know degrees celsius but yeah this is pretty much it for my guide hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment rate and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace